Welcome to Infra SOS YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to create the Active Directory login reports with the help of PowerShell. Now for this you need an Active Directory attached computer or machine and you also need to have installed Git on your machine. After that, simply open up PowerShell as an administrator and then you are going to simply clone this repository. So for that simply type in the command git clone and then the link for the repository. Now the link would be in the description box for you. After that simply hit enter. After that we want to head inside the directory that we have just cloned. For that simply type in the command cd, follow it up with get and then simply hit the tab button and you will get this. After that simply hit enter and you would be brought inside that particular directory. Now inside this directory if I simply hit the ls command you can see that we have this file which is get user last login. This is actually a script. Now I want to execute this script. For that simply type in get user and then hit the tab button and you would get this script. So now if I hit enter you can see that this script is not executable. To make it executable simply click the link in the description box to come to this blog post and from here simply copy this command and paste it inside your powershell. Once you do that it is going to ask you to make changes in the execution policy. For that simply type in y and then hit enter once more. After that you can use this script. So simply type dot and then a backslash followed up by the name of the script which is get user last logon. After that you want to specify the user whose last logon you want to fetch. For that simply add in the flag hyphen user and then the name of the user. In my case the username is user md. After that you want to specify the days in which you want to find the last logon. For that simply type in hyphen days flag and then specify the number of days from which you want to fetch the last logon. So I'm going to specify that at 15. After that simply hit enter and you will get the following result. So you can see that on the output that we have the last logon details of the user user md. Anyways that was all about this video. Now if you want to check out the explanation of this PowerShell script then simply visit the blog that is linked in the description box. Additionally, you should check out Infra SOS because with Infra SOS you can create Active Directory and Office 365 reports using the SAAS Active Directory reporting and auditing tool. Now the link for Infra SOS website is also in the description box. Now if you have learned anything new with this video then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.